At last he saw the movement's leader, his primary target, carrying a rifle and looking exactly like the man in the photo the general had shown him. A former soldier, the soon-to-be-dead man, was huddled under a makeshift shelter with several other people, an uninspiring leader of a makeshift army. Heron lined up the shot, the crosshairs from the rifle scope aligning perfectly with his target's head. Even in perfect conditions, 700 yards was no easy shot. In this weather, it was even harder, but he was confident he could make the shot. As the thunder roared in the sky, Heron fired. The rifle kicked into his shoulder, the sound of the shot masked by the elements. His aim was true, his target dead before he hit the ground. The camp exploded with action. Some screamed, some ran away. Some picked up weapons, others threw them down, clearly thinking the Fijian army had sharpshooters in the trees and that to resist would be to die. Amidst all the chaos, the authorities would have no trouble mopping up these men. Heron prepared to bug out then froze in shock. 